Hey guys, I'm doing another video and this is me, Bossman Ben, and today it's going to be a little bit different because I will be doing a video with my mum. My mum's name is Karen. You'll find out what we're going to be doing in a minute. Hopefully this video is going to go well. I hope everyone had a good Christmas and I hope everyone got what they wanted and I hope that people were safe like I've been saying in my other videos. So I really hope that everyone had a brilliant time, got what they wanted and just had loads of fun like what Christmas is meant to be. I think I'm going to be wearing my Christmas hat with this video because I think it's just going to be like a lot of fun and I'm going to see what happens with this video so I really hope that you enjoy this video if you do like this video guys please give it a like share comment and if you're new subscribe because all of what I get is absolutely amazing and I wouldn't be here guys without you so I really hope that you do like this video and if you don't like this video for me like it for my mum and give her some support after she's gonna be doing my first or a first video like this give her some support I'll let you watch this video in peace you know what to do don't you would you rather get run over by a car and die or kill five small children with your car well I'd hate to be known that I killed children so I'd rather get run over by a car and die okay I would actually agree with that let's see what happens here I think most people have got the same logic as you yep well, that's what I'd presume anyway. Would you rather have no fingers or have no ears? I'd rather have no fingers because having your ears are more important to me. What would you rather, honestly? I'd rather have no ears because fingers, how am I supposed to do my hobbies without no fingers? And your hobbies are, so people will know. Uh, I like card making, knitting, sewing. And just like all crafty, crafty, crafty and making stuff. So yeah so i uh, be impossible to do without no fingers yeah i'd rather have no fingers because i music and that wow uh, that surprised me did that surprise you yeah it did i didn't expect that to be so high would you rather read the lilad or read the odyssey don't know what any of them are so i've got no idea what sounds more interesting i'd guess the odyssey I'd... i think I'd... i have no idea what any of these are no, so nor do i um, so you say the Odyssey? Yeah, don't know. Okay, we yeah, a lot of people agree with us. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad about that. If you played football for a living, would you rather play quarterback or play linebacker? This is like American football, I think. Um, I have no idea what American football is, apart from like it's like the equivalent to uh, rugby, would you say? Uh, something similar. So uh, I have no idea what... Similar shaped ball. Yeah, that's what I'd imagine and whatever. <laughs> and the same physicality is rugby, isn't it? Yeah. So I have no idea what either of them roles like do or, or whatever. So that sounds more interesting, I guess. No. Apparently not. No, they don't agree with you. Damn. Wow. Okay, let's see what happens here. Would you rather chill with Eminem or chill with Jay-Z? Well, I'm not really into the modern music, so... If you choose the one I'm thinking you're going to choose, I'm going to be really happy with you. Jay-Z? Okay, I'm not going to be happy with you with this one. I would choose Eminem. Well, I don't really know any of them, so... That's fine. I understand that. You like Elvis and that, so... Yeah. yeah. I've got taste, you see. Nah. Would you rather fight a wolf with your bare hands, fight a large bear with a sword? That's actually pretty interesting. I would rather fight a large bear with a sword because you actually have something... A weapon. Yeah, because with your bare hands you have nothing, do you? Uh, no. Unless you kind of grow your fingernails to kind of scratch them or whatever, but... Um, I wouldn't like to fight either of them. Yeah, no, that's obvious, but <laughs> I think having a, like, a weapon and that would be a little bit more satisfying. Poor bear. Can't bear it. <laughs> okay. jokes don't get any better, folks. <laughs> would you rather a spouse with trees as arms or a spouse with alligator arms? <laughs> This is a weird one. That's what she said. 
It certainly is. I wouldn't know what to choose. So uh, alligator arms up where you can eat more food. You got. <laughs> yeah, I would agree with you that. You can't do much with arms, at least with a, a, a mouth of the alligator. You could grab things, I suppose. True. So you would rather... Trees would just get in the way. All the limbs and the, all the branches would get in the way. Yeah, I'd agree with that. So you'd rather have alligator arms, yeah? Yeah. Wow. Close. That is close. What kind of thing would you say would be, would make you choose trees, would you say? As most people would pick it, what would you say would be the better thing to choose trees over alligator i, I can't think why no I don't, I don't know why they would choose that over alligator arms that's interesting i would not have okay i know it's close but i just wanted to see if you had an idea okay. would you rather sleep on an amazingly comfortable bed that someone died in <laughs> or sleep on a bed of nails this is interesting and i would rather sleep on an amazingly comfortable bed that someone died in because it's a comfortable bed and that's the only logical explanation i can think of knowing someone's died in it wouldn't re it would just kind of be a sad thing knowing the person has died but you'd soon kind of get over it as you'd forget about it as you'd sleep and you'd be sleeping and you wouldn't really think about the dead person because you'd be asleep, if you know what I mean. Depends where you knew that person. Yeah, that's a good point. If you didn't know that person, then it, would that make it a bit better or make yeah, it a bit I think worse? Yeah, it would make it maybe better. Although, if you knew the person, sleeping in their bed would bring you closer to them. That's true. And sleeping on a bed of nails is just a pain, so... <laughs> That's yeah, what everyone agrees with us. Yeah, I'm glad about that. Is that what you'd have picked? Yeah, I think so. Okay, that's good. What do you think of this game? Yeah, fun. Okay. Makes you think. Yeah, that's true. Would you rather have knee length hair or have a foot a one foot tall mohawk? I'd rather have knee length hair, which I used to have when I was younger. Why? No, not why ha did you have it back then, but why would you choose? Because a uh, uh, one foot tall mohawk would get in the way. It depends how tall you are, really. Yeah. Like, I'm six foot one or whatever. And you'd use a lot of gel to keep it standing up or whatever you use. Um, gel or some people use, no, grease. Does grease work? No. Some no, people. Hairspray or. I thought some people use grease. Okay, right, okay. I no, don't know. You're thinking of Brill Cream, that sort of. I've never heard of Brill Cream. Your... Oh, right, okay. It slicks your hair back, but I don't think it sets your hair like gel does or hairspray. Right, okay. So you'd rather have knee length hair? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Oh! Yay! That's pretty close, though, in a way. If I had that question, I'd go with a mohawk to make me feel taller and also it's cool and i could color it um in the like shade of blue i like like this kind of shade of blue or something i don't know would you rather have narcolepsy or have chronic insomnia what is both of them insomnia i know is you can't sleep right i think narcolepsy is where you just fall asleep on a flick of a finger, I think. Right, okay. I'm gonna edit in the definition so I know. But as I'm not having the definitions right here, so I'm just using my mum. My mum is the dictionary at the moment. A difficult one. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, Lack of sleep or going to just sleep. falling asleep, which is dangerous. If you're crossing a road and you suddenly want to sleep or you're driving or... Yeah, I'd rather have chronic insomnia because yeah. that's less dangerous. Yeah. As my mum said, if you like crossing the road and like you fall asleep, that could be deathly. Yeah. And that could obviously be brutal. Or if you're and, operating a machine or anything. Or anything. Yeah. Yeah. I'd have chronic insomnia if that's the definition of being not able to sleep properly. If that's what you th say the definition is, I'd rather yeah. go with that all day long. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. that's close. It is close. But, uh. 
Okay. I don't I know why people would choose to fall asleep. Just to kind of get peace and quiet from the rest of family or whatever. That's actually... I didn't expect you to do that, but that's good. I like that. Well done. Ah, uh, this is a good one for you. This is a good one for you. Would you rather cure cancer or make first contact with an alien race? Cure cancer, of course. And obviously, if I'd you want to... to cure myself. If you want to say a bit about what you're doing, so I know also. Because I have cancer. It cannot be cured, but they are controlling it with tablets. What sort of cancer is it? So people it know. It is stemmed from breast cancer. And what is the cancer now? It's just in my neck. Okay, is there a certain name for no. it or? No, it's just, it's all based from breast cancer. And would you actually like to ha uh, meet an alien race apart from my dad? <laughs> That'd be Maybe, kind of cool though. Because they may have technology to get rid of cancer. See, that's what I was going to say actually. Because they might be more um, technically more yeah. advanced than us. Yeah, that's true. But out of this you'd rather cure cancer, yeah? Yep. How close do you think this is going to be? Very. I think it's going to be 50-50. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Well done people. That's cool. Would you rather be able to speak every language in the world fluently mm -hmm. or be the best in the world in one category of your oh. choosing? That's a good question, to be honest. I would, in one category, that's only limiting to one thing, isn't it? Yeah. And being able to speak different languages will be good so you can, like, meet new people and speak to them and confuse them by speaking a different language, speaking a different language other than their native language. And it'll be good if you want to travel to other places and be yourself and speak in different languages or whatever, so... Being able to speak every language in the world fluently would be a good thing, would yeah. you say? What's your opinion? I don't think I could remember all those languages. Yeah, but bit, you so would be able to in this scenario, you would. Perfectly. What would you rather do? Obviously it's my decision on this round, but... I think I'd go be the best in the world in one category of And choosing. what's that category? That's a good question. Yeah. What would I be the best at? Crafting? Like all creating and stuff. Yeah. Okay, arty stuff, that's fine. But um, for me, it'd have to be the multilinguistic stuff. Whoa! Hey, they're on my <coughs> side. Okay, that's pretty close. Um, it is close. Is that closer than you thought it would be? Yeah. If you could only eat one and never eat the other, would you rather eat waffles or eat pancakes? This is the American um, waffles, I think. Not potato I've waffles. I've never tried an American waffle, but I like pancakes, so I'll go pancake. And what's your favourite topping on pancakes? Anything sweet. Right, what like? I usually yep. have the traditional lemon and sugar. Ah, right. Lemon juice and sugar. That's cool. So you'd rather eat pancakes than eat waffles? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, oh, that's the closest that's one so far. It is close, but I'm still Yeah, that's winning. cool. That is cool. If you could only save lives through two ways, would you rather prevent World War Two and all the war related deaths that went along with it, Holocaust included, or cure all forms of cancer and STDs AIDS included. I wish I could pick both, but I can't. It's a difficult one. That is really, really tough. I don't know what I'd go with, but then I'm biased on this. Yeah, that's understandable. I'm just gonna, like, do something really random. Whatever the side the thing is closest to, I'm just gonna pick. Three, two, one. Okay. Yay. That's, I closed my eyes as you saw. Yeah, that's a natural one. I think a lot of people would like to... Yeah, I know it's bad cure. for the people that got killed in the wars, but unfortunately that can't really... Anything can't really be done about that as it's already happened. And that's right. cancer can hopefully be cured or have a cure in the evolution of science or whatever. Yep. So... It's yeah, crossed. let's hope so. Would you rather save the world but nobody knows or save the world but die as a hero in the process? <coughs> Pardon? <laughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, that's what I think of the question. Um, 
last half. Mm, save the world, but nobody knows. Because? They are nice secrets mm -hmm. to have. That's true. Then, also, you wouldn't you die. die. <laughs> yeah, you, w you wouldn't die. But if I had to choose, I'd probably go the same. Because I wouldn't die, so let's have a look. That is what I'd kind of expected, to be honest. Would you rather pull, pull all of your toenails out or pull all of your hair out? Out? <laughs> Um, Neither. <laughs> yeah. I would rather pull all of my hair out because I think that would be less painful. Yeah. W what do you say? Well, I have been bald but, thanks to chemo, but, so... But it weren't pulled out, was no, it? No, it wasn't pulled out. It fell out. What do you think would be less painful? Pulling your hair out. Okay, right. We'd, but we're, yeah, we're both the uh, same for this one anyway. Nailed it. <laughs> Would you rather have a Brooklyn accent or have a Bostonian accent? I don't know. I don't know what a Bostonian one sounds like. Have you heard of Brooklyn? Yeah. I'll go Brooklyn only because I've, I've heard of it and a lot of TV programmes or films are made in Boston. Uh, Brooklyn, sorry. <laughs> That's Brooklyn. fine. That's fine. Okay, I'll see people uh, have the same logic as you then. I wouldn't know what I would pick because... I'm not American. Would you rather be infertile, have a child that passes away before age five? Be infertile, then you wouldn't have the pain of seeing your child die. True. No, I agree with that. I would rather be infertile because I would have no child and Suffering. I wouldn't, yeah, and I wouldn't have the pain of having to kind of bury the child and. It would just be a lot of effort and stuff. Although, and you'd have the memories of the child and knowing, you know, and the love of that child for a little while, so... Yeah, it's but it's not going to last long, is it, no, really? I know. In a I know. In a real world, it wouldn't really... No, it's true. So I think being infertile would be, unfortunately, the better option than... You, you know what I mean, don't you? Yeah. I didn't expect it to be that massive. No. That's what she said. But no. No, but a lot of people. Yeah, obviously people agree have the same logic. Yeah, would you rather start your own business, which is doomed to fail, or work for other people at a low salary? Start my own business because at least you tried and you get the experience of mm -hmm. starting your own business. Anything else or? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> You learn by your mistakes. So if you do start your uh, another business, you think about where I went wrong in the other one, and then hopefully you'll succeed in the future. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. I'd agree with that. Wow. All right. Oh, why? Why is that shocking to you? Well, I thought. Well, I suppose if you lose your business, you got no work and no money coming in so people would rather have money coming in even if it's low yeah so I, I can understand that. yeah that's pretty interesting would you rather have holes put through both hands and both feet via nails and a hammer Eek. <laughs> or go 40 days in the desert without food go 40 days in the desert without food because you can eat sand and have water from the sea, so you wouldn't starve, would you? In the desert, I don't think there's a sea in the desert, unless you find some cactuses, and some of them have Yeah, desert, juice. so you wouldn't starve. That's actually pretty close-ish. It is, yeah. So, anything you would like to say to end this video? Well, I hope you enjoyed my first time. I hope I didn't muck up too many times. I don't think you did. Yeah, I think you did pretty well. Thank you. This is my first time doing a video with my mum, so like this anyway but well, you're welcome and i hope that we can do more in the future maybe i will find some other things for us to do not just this so there's more variety on the channel so yeah uh, lovely something for you to look forward to huh <laughs> help yeah i think you'll be yeah you're you're gonna be all right right anything else you'd like to say or no hope you enjoyed this <sighs> see you next time awesome
right guys, this was Would You Rather with my mum. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. This was a lot of fun to record. Some, like, really interesting scenarios and it was actually pretty fun to see how we both logicated the, like, scenarios and how we would work them out. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you didn't like it for me, like it for my mum. And that, and if you want me to do more videos with my mum, then uh, please leave a comment saying that you do. Give it a like. And if you're new, subscribe because all the support I get, my mum gets, is absolutely amazing. So thank you for everyone's support. If you did like this video, you know what to do. I will see you guys in the next video. Um, hopefully that will be soon. And I hope everyone keeps safe. And I hope everyone's having a good morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world. And I shall see you guys in the next video. I know I just said that. I want to make sure that you actually know what I'm saying. Bye.